Buenos días. You ready, dog? I'm sorry. Let's get it. Boom. Commodaro. 2018, 2019. 2019. First fish of the year about to happen for me. Good morning from Mexico. This right here is the dwelling place of my biggest bass ever. And hopefully this time around, I can shadow that 9.6 uh, personal best that I caught last year. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna need the net. Oh boy. Oh shit. It's it, 9.5 baby. <laughs> Look at that. I am with the one and only Matt Kendrick today. And uh, we're gonna be filming a Guggen Squad challenge. It's gonna be super intense. Probably one of the biggest tournaments we've ever filmed next to that MTB one, but this time we'll actually be catching fish and big ones too. So anyway, stick with it, stay tuned and enjoy. I will catch you guys on the first cast. We probably need, it. oh, I just got twerked. Got him. So little. So little. Hey, first fish of 2019, here we go. Nice start. I was hoping for it to be a 10 pounder. Oh, I got it, it's, it's all good. First fish, here we go. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> I jumped right out. Do a little trench hog. Put the trench in the trenches. I actually missed the day of fishing yesterday due to all the flight delays and BS and whatnot, but uh, thankfully the rest of the, the Googs gave me some intel as to what these fish are biting on. And the word on the lake has it that trench hog is the deal. Just straight up Texas rig on a five out hook. Three quarter ounce weight, seven foot rod. You already know the deal. That looks delicious. That looks delicious. Holy micro bass. What the figgity? I'm, I'm really, I'm really kind of showcasing this lake for what it's worth. My lord. Stop that, please. I'll give you a nickel if you just off real quick there we go he's built like a giant he looks like if you held it out a bit it looks like he would be a big one he's got that nice round belly big tail just not quite there yet one day oh my dink <laughs> this is getting ridiculous <laughs> this is getting absolutely ridiculous that's a sign though i'm getting a lot of small bites up shallow <clears throat> well, there's fish number four of the day. Definitely on a on a pattern here. It's not <laughs> quite the pattern I want to be on, but bites are bites and fish are fish. Trench hog is doing it right now. That is a lovely little freaking bait. This this bait really does excel in the south. Look at that. Big old five out hook. Just sliding it on there. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. There we go. About time. That's a good it may be. Yeah, that. Definitely get the net on this guy. Oh, it's a stick. <laughs> Dude, it felt like a bite. <laughs> it was going down the stick, like like sliding down it. So it felt like a fish was running, like, oh my God, that's a giant. <laughs> wow, cut. Yo, don't put that in the video. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let me tell you what, folks. There's one. Good one. Yeah, that's a nice one. We're weighing that one for sure. Come on. Dude, right up on the stick ups. Oh yeah, that's getting weighed. Hang on. Not quite there yet. Wow, these fish dog you. That's what's up, that's what we needed. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> that's one for the leaderboard. There's our first good one of the day. We really needed that. It's kind of a jump from what we have been catching. A lot of small fish, dinky fish, but that fish came right up on a little bit of brush. Just a little boop. Set the hook. Out came the trench hog with a nice fish on it. First big fish of the day for me. There is my first big Commodore fish of the trip. Let's go, baby. Let's go. There's your hat, Matt. Thank you. A little soggy. <laughs> it's the second time he's lost his hat today. That's bad luck, man. You know, just what? I'm searching for fish out there with the hat. I'm marking fish. Okay? Next, next time you drop your hat in, tie like a trench hog on the back of it. Just let it sit there. We'll come back to it later. T Matt and John, we struggled. Actually, we did more than struggle. We just sucked. What do you got there? I got a little sad juice. Medal. So well, time to time to limp here. back to the ramp. 
What a rough day. In she goes. Pardon that little intermission there. Um, it's it's quite a challenge. I'm not gonna let it film for one channel and then also try to film for the other. So kind of put the uh, personal video on the back burner, of course, while we film some content for the Guggen Squad channel. And also, I just realized the MTB channel too. So I've been filming for three different channels this day. It's been hectic. As you may be able to tell, I'm on the same boat with two different dudes. I'm with Ross, who is the um, what do you do at MTB again? You run the social. The in yeah, he started. Yeah, he runs the Instagram account over at MTB. No, I'm just kidding. He's the uh, CEO of Mystery Tackle Box and Carl's too. Catch, catch, catch go. go. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Biospawn. You're fully stuff. sponsored yeah. right now. And then we got, of course, B, who we just uh, used to film a, a nice little video. So. He's been busy. We've all been pretty much mega busy, but uh, it's the afternoon now. I think it's right around maybe 3.30ish, which is nice because at this point we can kind of just chill fish. And uh, coming up in the next few moments should be a little bit of topwater action, which is always a fun time on Commodore. You've got an array of points right to my right shoulder that we're going to douse with some trench hogs and then maybe some poppers and just give her hell. Make the most of the rest of our day. Fourth quarter, folks. This is my time to shine. I have not broken any PBs. Just to clarify, I have caught some good fish today, but no earth-shattering hook sets that have resulted in my biggest bass ever. Can't complain though, day out on Comodero is a good day. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to turn the GoPro on is because, as you can see, half of the lake is lit, fully lit, and the other half is slightly, or I would say more than slightly, pretty much fully shaded. It's one of the coolest things about fishing Comodero is you get kind of a half and half situation right around dusk and dawn, where like, the sun has not been able to hit some areas because of the elevation. Like you're fishing a lake in the mountains, so you've got this huge, section this nice little pocket that's shaded where we can throw top water spooks buzz baits really whatever your heart desires kind of fish the craws in the open points that have sun and then when we get back in this uh, shady territory we can throw the good stuff watch them bust on surface which is always fun that's a good one that's a big one that no no we're good we're good it's good boom do you need this? Yeah. yeah. Hey man, you don't own the water, bro. What we got here, just for kicks and gigs. Yeah, that's about a three pounder. Trench hog out of the gullet. Wow, that weight is even down there too. There we go, another nice fish. It's it's apparent that the point deal, the deep drop off is the name of the game right now on Comodero. Big kick, right down to the bottom. That's how deep the fish came. It was about 16 feet. We're a bit, and we were sitting in about 20. What's going on? Let me see your hands. What does it do? Oh, gasoline. Nice. Put a little f***ing petrol in the water. So what Brian is doing right now is he's trying to kill the fish so that they are a little easier to bring in the boat. Just dump some, <laughs> some freaking unleaded in the water. Working. Oh, I bet it works. And I bet it also gets the skin off your hands, too. If I failed to go over this a thousand times, you guys, uh, this is the setup I've been using pretty much all day. This rod and reel has been glued to my right hand since I woke up this morning. It's a 7-6. Uh, what is this? A seven, what are we using right here? 7-6 heavy flipping rod with a fast tip. The only reason why I ask is this is not my rod. And um, the reel is actually, this is pretty crazy. This reel is a saltwater jigging reel. But the reason why I like this is because it's a 300 size. They call it a karado, but it's like, a, I don't know, it's like a Japanese saltwater karado. It's meant for like vertical jigging. But anyway, back to the point. The reason why I like this reel is because it's got a ton of drag and it has maximum line capacity, which is good because, you know, a lot of these fish require some heavy line. And regardless of what the debate is on if you need 65 pound test to catch a five pound bass, I personally like to have heavy line. So. This reel can hold a ton of 65 pound braid. It can also hold a lot of uh, 25 pound fluorocarbon, which also gets used a lot on Comodero. And that's not just like me, like everyone uses this heavy, heavy stuff. I mean, you guys saw today, I'm pretty sure I got it on footage. I've broken off like three times. Uh, and that's not because of the fish, but it's because of the cover that we're fishing. Rocks, brush, um, tilapia nuts. Like there is just a lot of obstacles in this body of water that keep you from successfully landing a fish. So it's just kind of a peace of mind knowing that I've got heavy line and. If I do crank one, that my chances of getting in are pretty high due to the fact that I've got some Kevlar line. That's a nice one. But I couldn't even reel on that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Big. Good one. That's a little bit better. Big splash. Nope. Got him. Woo! 
I'll take that. Boom. That's my biggest of the trip right there. <laughs> Cranked him. That was sweet. He ate like just like what we're casting at. Wow, he was really hooked good. Final hours of the day in Comodero, day number one. And that might be the biggest fish of the trip for me. Probably close to six, we're about to find out. Thank you. Five, two. Still a quality fish. Wow, really, really pretty fish. Might have to snag a picture of this guy. Not on the top water. I was expecting to get a lot of action on the top water, but the trench hog just keeps getting it done. Nice, that's what it's all about. Good day, boys. Put it there. Boom. Boom. We did everything we had. Boom, dog. 